bet that's got the steering axles on the back as well. Yeah. All the hoses and stuff. Yeah, look at all this, all the monitors and everything like that. Bet this is nice to drive. Bet it's also quite wide, though. But yeah, that's all the equipment. Fent were meant to be here, um, but they had some transport issues. And then Case, I don't know why they didn't get here. But hopefully they're here next year. And uh, we can see some of their kit. Um, shame about that, but things happen, don't they? So... I've just got a text from the post office saying they want some up, but I'm busy today, so I'll have to get a coffee later, see what it's like. Um, now, this bale trailer's for sale. I've been looking at this, and I wasn't sure, because I haven't got a bale trailer, but also will this be too small? Because uh, we have got the fast track, and we have got the case, but... I think that might be a bit too small. I mean, it would be a good starter, but I don't know what I don't know what the deal is with that. So we'd have to see and um, possibly find out. Um, anyway, yeah, we're gonna go do some ploughing, and um, yeah, I'll let you know when we're done, and um, we can watch the auction. Already one o'clock. I have to get some lunch in a bit. So yeah. I'll get started, get that all unfolded and everything, and uh, we'll start ploughing. Start that. And we'll flip that over. Get that lined up with everyone else's. Drop it down. And I believe we're away. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. Could be worse. Could be a lot worse. Yeah, not too bad at all. Um... I think I might use four wheel steer just to get away from this headland. The thing is the plough catching it as well. That's my hedge so I wouldn't be very happy about that. Flip that over. Get our wheel in that fur. Drop her down and keep going. Um, I've only got to do three passes, I think it is. Because we have a six fur plow. So two more than that case. Which actually isn't too much. It seems like this has a lot more power, but this is just below what this is just on what it could comfortably uh, pull, I think. But yeah, it's got no problems. One more row, then we can um, go and have a look and see what see what's for sale. Have a look at the prices and stuff like that. Getting that fur out, and away we go. Getting a bit too quick. Yeah, not too bad. It seems to be covering everything. Um, yeah, not too bad at all. Uh, we'll see. I'll try and catch that um, Grey Fergie ploughing. Uh, see if we can get that on video. And that's me done. Which, that didn't take too long at all. I did most of the adjusting and stuff. We'll flip that over and then fold it up again. And we'll go park up. Don't want to run over his ploughing. Get that folded. And away we go. That didn't take long at all. Yeah, we'll go and park up. And, um.
the old and the new. Turn that off. Hop out. Get a thumbnail. There we go. Right. For the video. Right. 390T. If you do so, um, it'll be very sad. Uh, first tractor on the farm that was. But uh, time moves on. Um, I'm looking for a classic. Some a bit older than that. I think it's 80s, maybe a bit older, but yeah, I think that's about the 80s. Um, I have no clue what that is, uh, no number plates or anything. Uh, it's just a field car, really. There's a bucket. Now that, is, that has the same brackets for that Massey. This one came off a of John Deere, but it has the same brackets. So, if we bought the uh, Massey Telehandler... We could have that bucket as well. I don't know how much that would go for. But it looks like it might be quite a bit. Uh, maybe a £1,000 or 1500 or something like that. But yeah, we're focusing on that. Possibly that. That would be a brilliant tractor to have. Or that. But we'll see which way we go. And... Um, we won't be getting anything if those two don't sell, unless maybe the 135, because that is a brilliant little tractor, and I think I could afford it now. Depends, five grand. Depends how much and how wanted that is, but I wouldn't go above five grand at all. Um, five grand, it's a, it is a multi-power, so that would bump the price up a little bit. But um, yeah, I'm just going to have a coffee. And um, when they all start ploughing, I will um, be sure to get it on film. Um, so yeah, I'll just have a sit down here, sit on this bench here, and um, wait until they start again. See you in a bit. Right, so they've just started ploughing with that, going really quick. But um, yeah, it's a really nice bit of kit actually. It's just got lined up to go back down. Yeah, that's playing really nice, actually. Not a, not a bad plough at all. Doing a really nice job. Oh, he's missing a bit. Yeah, he's missing a bit. Don't know whether he's giving up or what. Um, but yeah, really nice furrows, actually. Doing a really good job with that. Um, yeah. I'm just going to go sit back down again and wait for my boss to get up and running. Um, yeah, so we'll wait for that. And I'll see you in a bit. This is now ploughing in the case 5150. My favourite tractor out on that farm up there. Not doing a bad job. Got some nice furrows and it's covering it all. Um, I think this is going to be a tight one. I'm not the best ploughman, but... Yeah, I don't know what it will come down to. Um, it should be interesting, actually. Um, seeing who wins and who loses. Um, as they're both doing a pretty good job, to be honest. Um, he's just coming back up. Yeah, he's doing a nice job of that. Yeah, not bad at all. Keeping it nice and straight. Yeah. He's playing he's playing well with that. Right, so he's just gone home. Um he's gonna come back for the tractor in a bit. Um yeah. Really nice job with that. A bit mucky now. Um but yeah, he hasn't got to go far home. That's just, this is his field. So, it's all going to be ploughed. I started doing that. Um, that wasn't too bad. Um, I did that with a New Holland, big articulated thing. Uh, with a 12 for a plough. Um, that was a nice, that was a nice machine to drive. Struggled getting it through that gateway though. That's the only thing with the big equipment and stuff. You can't get it through little gateways and stuff like that. But yeah. All done ploughing for today, I think. 
Um, I'm just going to go watch the auction. And um, I'll either watch it for a bit and film a bit of it. Or um, I'll show you whether we won some it or if we lost the bid in. Um, and if our stuff sold. Um, so that should be interesting. Um, it'll be interesting to see how much this goes for. If it's cheap, I'll definitely buy it. And, um, because it, it looks to be a decent trailer. Um, so yeah, we'll have a look and, um, let you know in a bit when everything is, um, sold. See you in a bit. So, majority of the stuff has gone. Um, some of it's, a lot of it's just been taken away. Um, to the new homes. Um, only about halfway through the auction. Um, there's still the bucket, the 135, the telehandler. All the stuff that I'd want, really. Um, so we'll have to see. Uh, we'll have to see how much we'll get for it. So, that's a hefty bit. Uh, the car and the 390T sold. Uh, the car was about three grand, I think. But the 390T, I can't remember what that went for. But it was quite a bit. Um, just a classic track to a low hours, really. Um, the 135, um, that's still going. The bidding's just going up over there. Um, I don't know what's, I don't know what's being bidded on at the moment. But um, I'm going to go back to it, and um, I'll see you when I have finished the auction, hopefully won some stuff. Uh, we now have the money. Um, that's 390T gone. Sad to see it go, first tract on the farm, but uh, times move on. Um, so yeah, we'll see the auction, see what goes, see what doesn't, and um, we'll go from there. See you in a bit. Alright, so it's now three past four. Um, we have won quite a bit in the auction. Um, I haven't yet paid for it. That, it was quite a bit. But, I believe that and the trailer. That trailer, I got that for 1000 Which I didn't think was too bad at all. Um, all new tyres and everything all round. So, yeah, that'll be handy to have. Um, yeah, it's just got to all go through and stuff. Um, so, yeah. We'll have to see from that, but we do own the county, um, so that'll be really interesting to have. Um, just a classic to do ploughing with and stuff like that, so I still don't know who's won the ploughing. Um, it doesn't really matter though, it'll be alright. Um, and the 135, the mighty 135, I have got the key for this, so we'll start it up. A full tank of diesel as well. So, that's good. We'll just take it for a bit of a drive. Actually, we'll hook onto this trailer. I think. Considering we've won the bid, we haven't yet paid. But... We'll get better lined up than that. Okay, we'll just go and hook that on. Cool, put the pin through. And we're ready to go. Not a bad fit for that trailer, actually. Now, if this... Ideally, I would want a uh, loader on this. But I don't know how I'd go about that, so... We'll just see how it goes and stuff. But you add a loader and it sticks out more out the front and stuff like that, so... But yeah, um... We'll turn that off. Hop out, shut the door. And, um, we'll go and pay for all of our stuff. Uh, you just pay at this coffee thing. They've used that throughout the whole day. Uh, it's been a br really good day out, really. Um, everything's just packing up and stuff. But, um, apparently the dealership are coming tomorrow to come and take all the stuff away. Um, but yeah. Brilliant day. Got some good sales. And, um... Some good buys. Uh, this wasn't a bargain, but <laughs> I think it's worth it. It's got the power, it's got the traction, it's got everything, so that should be interesting to have. 
um, and it will hold its value. If anything, it will go up in value, so it's a good investment, really. Um, brilliant little track, so I don't have the key for that. So, we'll just go and pay. And, um, I'll come back when my bank account is sad and empty. Right, so that isn't a figure that I was expecting. But, I believe we have made a good decision. Um, I have got the key for this now, so we can take it out for a drive. It's very nice. Yeah, really nice tractor. Uh, we'll open that window. It's now ours. Start it up. Ooh, this is nice. Yeah, not bad at all. Turning circle is a bit bad. But it's a county. And a lot of counties didn't have very good um, turning circles and stuff. Um... yeah we'll just park this up up next to this and we will get a photo and um, go from there so I'm just going to take the 135 back and start, start that up we've now paid and everything so we're ready to go brilliant day, never been here before, my first year here so ideally we're doing pretty well um, but now we're in a position where we can't really buy the case. So, it's been alright, but I don't know. I mean, we don't really need another big tractor. We're pretty good for big tractors and stuff, so. Like a dream getting out of there. That wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. See, this has quite a good speed on it as well, this 135. 21 mile an hour. Not too bad. Don't have any indicators on this either, so. Don't have any beacons either, because we're a bit long. I mean, it has got a warning sticker on the back, so. And we, we're only going up here, anyways. So, yeah, it's not too bad. But, yeah. Not bad at all. We've also got the JCB to bring back. So. Yeah. Can't forget that. easy. Right, where do I put the trailer? I'm going to take it through into the yard. I was going to park it up there, but it would be better off in the yard, I think. That barn's looking really empty now. But, I have cleared this out a bit. And we now have room for new equipment. Well, not new, but new to us. Now we'll park this along this hedge here. Just so it's easier to hook on. So it's really bumpy along there. unhook that, take out the pin, flip it down, and we will park this up wherever I can find a space. Um, I might have to check it in the garage. Oh uh, no, the JCB could go outside. This is more, oh uh, no, I need space for the county as well. Not going to have enough space. I'll pack that right in the corner. We might have enough room, we might not. It depends, but yeah, brilliant little tractor. Uh, the topper, I think that might be an issue, but we should be fine. Just crawl through the hedge here, try and climb over. Um, but yeah, boss hasn't st still hasn't taken his um, case back. But yeah, we'll take this back first and we'll come back for the JCB. See what this is like on the road. Yeah, really nice tractor, really happy with today. Um, a lot of money spending, but hopefully it made a good enough video. Uh, we'll shut that window actually, it's getting a bit nippy. Um, now this has got indicators. Yeah, I'm not going to make that. Yeah, the only bad thing about this is the turning circle, but it's got the power, it's got the grip. It's on nice trailer ball tyres, so what more could you want? And it's a classic, so a rare example of the New Holland, I believe. I don't know what they, these were made out of. 
but I have seen them before. And the tractors without the um, big wheels on the front, without the county conversions, they're really nice tractors. It's weird having the big wheels on the front. You don't normally see that in many tractors nowadays, but I don't know what year it is or anything. All I know is that I think it was worth my money. No, that's not going to fit in there. Um, we'll park it. I don't really want it visible. Right, it'll be outside for tonight, and um, I'm sure I'll find a space for it to be parked up later. We'll chuck it behind this bar so it's not so visible, because apparently theft is quite bad around here. Oh, just went onto that metal plank. Uh, so yeah, we'll shut that off, close the cab door, and hop over the hedge again for the um, JCB. We'll just climb the fence here. We're walking over there anyway, but... Yeah, so it's been a good day. Um, I don't think there's any prize money for the ploughing. I got second, which I don't think was bad, considering it's my first year here. But I think I had modern equipment on my side. Um, I think that's the only reason how I was runner-up. Um, but yeah, really good day out, actually. Uh, the JCB's still there. Um, but yeah. So, I'm just going to head back now, put the beacons on. Um, and I will see you in the next video. Um, it's been a very good day. Uh, very enjoyable definitely gonna come here again um, the dealerships just put so much effort just to get these tractors and stuff down the roads down these tight um, country roads and everything so yeah definitely worth coming along um, but yeah we're down to the Land Rover um, that is our only car now which a bit more money that was just sat there before that car I don't want to clip that um, that car, it was just sat there doing, just rotting really, rotting in the driveway, so, yeah, done us a favour to get rid of it, also put a bit of money in the bank, so yeah, not going to complain too badly at that, uh, but yeah, thanks for watching this video, uh, hope you enjoyed it, uh, if you have any recommendations, or anything like that to add to the series, uh, just drop them in the comments. I read every comment and try and reply as best as I can. Um, so yeah, been a very good day. Got the 135 and the 8, 1184 to the 240 and the uh, trailer, which very good day. Um, a lot of money's gone out, but I think it's a good investment. Um, I do need to do a bit of mowing as well, so we can check the mower on that actually and um, do a bit with that. So, um, yeah, subscribers keep going up and everything, which is brilliant. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching the video. See you again soon.